Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and welcome to my review of Miss Earth Thailand which is the same representative. We are going to talk about Thailand's representative for Miss Earth 2020, which is Tiapar Sretri Sovarna. I mean, I know, I know because I am super shocked as well when I heard that she will be representing Thailand in Miss Earth again because I, I mean, I did not even, I did not even know that that is possible. However, I am sure that the Miss Earth organization has allowed it because I'm pretty sure as well that they that they consulted, excuse me, the organization before they announced her as a representative. I mean, no wonder they have already prepared so much for this big reveal because it is indeed a big reveal. Now, before we talk about Tia Pars, Here's my sentiments about the organization. I apologize for my ignorance, but just in case you know, tell me in the comment sections below. Now, I have three questions for the organization that I hope will be clarified. Now, since the candidates can compete again, I hope I, these questions will be clarified. Number one, can a winner compete again? I mean, it might sound ridiculous, but with what happened this year, I believe this, need, this needs to be cleared too. Question number two. Can an, can an elemental crown holder compete again? For example, Miss Earth Fire, Miss Earth Water, Miss Earth Air. Can they compete again? Because at the end of the day, they didn't really win the main title, which is the main goal of everybody. So can they go back and represent their country again? That is very important because there's a lot of strong elemental crown holders. So that needs to be answered too. Finally, how many times can they compete over and over again? I mean, because what if some organization liked their candidate so much? However, she didn't win on the first try. Can they like... Okay, you will be our representative for Ms. Earth until you reach the age limit. Let's say I am 18 years old. The organization, the organization liked me very much. I represented Miss Earth when I was 18. I didn't win. What if the organization tell me, Okay, we like you very much, and I think you will do well with more training. You will represent our country again next year. I'm 19. I didn't win again. Can they send me again, or can the organization, can the organization be like, You will represent our country in Miss Earth until you win or until you reach 27 years old. Is that possible? I mean, interesting question. I would love to know the answer to. I believe every fans wanted to answer, I mean, wanted to know the answer as well. So hopefully they will clarify that. Those are my three main questions. However, this is new and I am not mad at all. In fact, I am very happy because there are some great contestants that competed before that certainly deserves a second chance and I would love to see them try again. I mean, it would be interesting. It would be a battle. I mean, I with this new rule for Ms. Earth, I mean, it's not really new. It's just we didn't know it that it exists. But with this happening this year, I am imagining a potential future editions jam-packed with all returning contestants i mean that would be an all-star edition and i i hope i am hoping it would happen anyway for thailand this year she managed to reach the top 20 last year but i can tell you that it was quite an expected placement knowing how competitive the batch was last year. She wasn't really giving us a winner vibe, although she was a strong candidate. But this year, I am not saying that this is not a competitive batch, but this is it. 
I mean, this group is not as strong as last year. Aside from that, this batch has fewer contestants than last year. And knowing Tia Parr's track record since she competed last year, I think this year she is in it to win it. She could really finish very high this year, if not win. Remember, she already got a lot of advantages. She already knows how the judging and the competition goes. She's been there. Yes, the virtual competition this year may be different from what we are used to, but the rounds of competition is still the same. She's already been through figure and form, so obviously she knows what she needs to improve on that one. She's already been through phase and poise, and she could definitely look at her last year's performance and see what she could improve and work on. Another advantage. And the interviews, my goodness. We all know that this is the round where she truly gained the momentum last year. She was outstanding when she talked about what she did in her country, which involves recycling and finding ways to minimize the use of plastics. She speaks very well in her interviews. Remember the gown that she wore during the preliminary interviews? I mean, the fabric and the entire gown was made of recycled plastics. And she definitely know how to sell herself during the interviews and I can assure you that this woman is going to be a very 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 huge huge threat to not only place high but to even win the entire competition now what if she wins I will be super happy I mean I if you are a fan of Ms. Earth, you will be very, very, very happy if this woman wins. Because this woman, Tia Par Sretri Sovarna, is the woman who really embodies the statement, Woman of the Earth and Earth Warrior. And she is, she is very, very serious, extremely serious in doing her job, in protecting the environment. And what is more, I mean, what... what this is the woman who is too perfect right now for Ms. Earth, just profile-wise. So I really hope she will deliver again and a much, much better performance than last year. I guess all I can say for now is watch out for her. She is coming back to take the crown that she truly deserves. So congratulations, Thailand. Thank you for becoming the first. It's very important. I mean, it's really historic to be the first in doing something amazing. So thank you for becoming the first to do this and paving the way for other potential candidates in the past and give them hope that they could come back and redeem themselves. So that's it. I wanted to know your thoughts about Thailand's back-to-back -back participation in Ms. Earth. What do you think? could be her potential placement. Do you think she will do much better than last year? And do you agree that returning contestants who didn't do as mu as well as they did before could go back and compete again? Do you agree with that? Don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of these videos in the future. For now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.